back to another morning. We are actually starting this morning about the same time we started last morning. We're just getting the train set up. Let the band play. Kick them. I've been. I've been kicking them all year. Yes, they don't want to be broken anyway. In today's episode, we're gonna be learning about lot sizes. You might be wondering, what the heck's a lot size? Let me tell you, I need to learn what a lot size is way more than you need to learn what a lot size is. So this video might just be me reminding me to not be a dum-dum. And if you're not here for those kind of videos, you can skip on to the next one. If you're here for that kind of stuff, let's get into the day. It's almost 10 a.m. We are in two trades. We're in a short on USD JPY. You can see right here, we're guessing it's gonna go down. And then on the same side, we are going long on the Dow Jones, which we took some losses earlier, but we got a good entry down here. And now we're running it up to here. All right, workout is complete. We're gonna go swim a little bit, and then we have a mock interview for a potential digital marketing job with our career department at Full Sail University in an hour. So we're gonna get home, defrost some moose, put on a collared shirt, and hop on one of those good old Zoom calls, everyone's favorite, right? We all love Zoom. Ooh. Anyway, catch you later. Oh, we got our greens and reds and creatine and pre-run. Zoom meeting coming out. We got business up top. Runner down low. Oh, I need to clean my room a little bit, don't I? It's kind of a mess. Anyway, we are going to get through this and then we can go run. Mm. While I'm looking like a Schmexy 65 man in finance. Let's uh let's show you these markets where we're at today. We entered down here at this big dip after just getting absolutely wrecked in here wrecked 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 mismanaged this one should have gotten this little whatever wrecked and then so things are going good as you can see we started at 100 we're down to 99.8 and floating balance is this oh did this just get stopped out what just happened this just got ticked out we were just in we were we were just shorting this what happened our stop loss just got hit on this one we were shorting i guess we're not shorting anymore so that profit came in so now we're just longing but overall hey i would say i'm getting a better feel for how to watch the market move i definitely need to dial in my lot sizes i would say i took a little too many losses but i'm starting to better understand the nature of it's a bunch of small losses small losses small losses and then win small losses small losses small losses win which is exactly the equity curve you want to see as a consistently profitable trader so yeah we're looking good we're getting better at this and we're getting more natural which is what we want it is august right now i think um okay september october Maybe shoot for late October, early November, getting funded, or at least taking the uh, Ment FX challenge for a funded account. Probably October, November, uh, doing it in December, trading around the holiday season can be a little wonky. There might be specific rules around that too, to be aware of. I know Ment funding does have rules around trading news. And if you break those rules, you can lose your account. So we don't want to break those rules. We don't want to lose an account. We want to continue becoming a consistently profitable trader. But uh, yeah, I was showing you the trades on higher time frames. So there's nothing really for me to sit and do at a computer, which means it's time to exercise. Let's go. Hey, yo, bad play. Let's go, bro. How many miles do you think we're going today? Comment below. How many miles we got in this today? Woohoo! All right. Run is done. This is the first one. We made it back in the eights. We did five miles in the eights. Average pace. Not bad. Getting better. Uh, we got a couple trades that are open right now. Let's go check on those. Howdy who. We are coming down to the end of the night. We are watching USDJPY. We're in an overall uptrend. We're seeing if we can tap in 
on this pullback. I don't know, we'll see. We got stopped out at break even a second ago, which was a little frustrating because up at the top here, it was, eh, whatever. You shouldn't be trading based on money. You should be trading based on structure and technique and form. Anyway, something that I definitely, we gotta talk about what a lot size is. So one lot is usually equal to $100,000 worth of the currency if it's a Forex pair, which this is USDJPY, or it's equal to one coin if you're doing a crypto, or it's equal to one contract if you're doing an indice like the NASDAQ or the Dow Jones. I am at a stage in my trading career where I am a beginner. I am just learning to walk. So as you see here in this choppy zone, I took all these losses boom, 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 because I'm just entering and getting stopped out, entering, getting stopped out, entering, getting stopped out. And what I need to be able to do is instead be able to take yeah, maybe one entry here, or one entry here to be more patient overall and not get so hyper-focused on getting an entry right at a certain zone. Anyway, we're going to dive more into lot sizes tomorrow. Yeah, maybe we won't dive that much more lot sizes tomorrow. We're going to keep diving into becoming a consistently profitable day trader now and lot sizes do have something to do with that i guess it's it's just how much you're betting on each trade i need to make sure i'm risking no more than one percent on each trade really i need to get down to like half a percent like this trade i'm in right now i'm risking over a full percent on and that's just what i'm comfortable with right now uh, yeah might need to make some continual adjustments i mean definitely gonna make some continual adjustments we're just learning how to do this uh, Again, we're shooting to be ready to go to take a official prop firm challenge in late October, early November. Oh my gosh, it stopped out, I don't know. Stay tuned, see you tomorrow. Oh my gosh, uh, yep, that's it. See you tomorrow. Living in this big blue world With my head up in outer space I know I'll be A-O, A-O-K I know I'll be A-O, A-O-K